Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tanji. Welcome to Kababayan Today. It is all about the cinema on our show. That's why joining us in the studio, we have Brian Hu. He is the Artistic Director of Pacific Arts Movement, and he curates the best lineup of Asian cinema for events such as the San Diego Asian Film Festival. It's the largest showcase of Asian cinema on the West Coast. Joining him today is Nikki Jimenez, the Media Director of Pacific Arts Movement. Uh, and the mission of Pacific Arts, that's what we're, uh, we want to know about. So welcome to the show today. Uh, thank you for driving all the way from San Diego. I really appreciate that. Of course, thank you. Thanks for having, having us. All right, so let's talk about um, Pacific Arts Movement. Brian, can you tell us about this organization and the work that you do? Yeah, since the year 2000, we've been the presenters of the San Diego Asian Film Festival first and foremost, and our passion is film. And what we found was that not only are there a lot of Asian Americans who are hungry to see films that, uh, with characters that resemble them, but also people throughout the community are just really interested in Asian culture. Um, many of people want to travel to Asia. So with the film festival, it's a great way to get to know other cultures and to become a world citizen. And Pacific Arts, Mov Arts Movement is the organization that presents the film festival as well as year-round events. Okay, is this a nonprofit organization? Yeah, it's a nonprofit, um, and we just focus on the arts. That is amazing. Okay, and then Nikki, how did you get involved with Pacific Arts Movement? Oh my gosh, my passion for it started in 2009, and I actually started as an intern with Pacific Arts Movement. And to be involved over the last six, seven years, and to see it grow, to maintain and be the largest showcase of Asian cinema on the West Coast. So we beat out Los Angeles, sorry, <laughs> and then we beat out San Francisco. Um, it's so awesome to see our reach and to touch the lives of 20 plus, 20,000 plus people um, through the film festival and our other events. Okay, so let's talk about the San Diego Asian Film Festival. I heard you're celebrating your sweet 16. Congratulations, Thank 16 you. years. That's a big accomplishment, Brian. Yeah, a lot of festivals don't make it past 10, so we're really grateful that uh, we have an audience that really believes in what we do, and also we're lucky because we can count on great filmmakers to keep giving us films every single year. That is wonderful. Okay, now, Obviously, because we are Filipino-American, I want to ask Nikki, uh, for the film festival this year, do we have any Filipino films? Because we love Pinoy cinema. <laughs> any chance we can get, we want to support it. Yes, oh my gosh. So we have two amazing films this year um, with Filipino filmmakers and the subjects. So Lorna and Swap. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things where um, I think the amount of Filipino films may fluctuate from year to year, but the quality this year for our two and um, three films that have Filipino-American main leads is just tremendous. And Brian can talk more about, about the directors. Okay, so um, before we talk about the directors, I just want to understand uh, Pacific Arts uh, Movement is an organization that puts up the festival, and this festival has been around for 16 years, right? But how can somebody get involved? I know that when you have a film festival, you're always looking for volunteers, mm -hmm. right? And it's so important, especially for people that want to be around cinema. This is a great way, like you said, you started interning yes. for them. How can they do that? So one way is to be an intern, mm -hmm. and we have um, we offer college credits. And so at first, it's a great way to train um, young people about how do you pr put on a nonprofit event, how you put on um, a, a event on, with the scale of a film festival. But like you said, it's also people who just want to be around films. Um, a lot of people who are aspiring filmmakers, they just want to have an opportunity to be around other filmmakers, people who are kind of five, ten years ahead of them. And, and also, most, most importantly, it's just people who want to come together and celebrate and support Asian culture. Okay, now I, I want to understand what is the criteria for choosing the films to be part of the festival, Brian? Um, well, any film is eligible for the festival if it has an Asian subject or if the director is of Asian descent. Mm -hmm. um, and then our job is to go through our hundreds of submissions and figure out which of these films are going to be best for our audience, which, can, which is going to create the best kind of conversations, and which are the films that we've never seen before with subjects and styles and sensibilities that are going to surprise people um, who may not have understood that you know, Asian culture can be like this too. Right, and as we know, unfortunately, Hollywood hasn't really released as many Asian American stories out in the theaters, which is why we need to support our own, 
right? So when we return here on Kababayan today, we will learn more about the Filipino film selections that are part of the Asian Amer San Diego Asian American Film Festival this year. We'll be right back. Thank you.